Good morning everybody, it's a fragrant jock here with another honest opinion. Today's honest opinion is, I've seen a few reviews, I didn't even think I would ever like in like this because I've tried a few in this line and they've either been really nice but just don't last. Um, some of their fragrances are really well, it's a designer company, it's uh, today's honest opinion is on Dolce & Gabbana and it's light blue forever. Now, I went into um, my local shopping centre and I was just having a look about. <coughs> there was a new one out um, and it was a Dolce & Gabbana light blue Italian love. Um, just new out, I think it was a perfume shop or fragrance shop or some company uh, doing it. Um, so I had a smell at it on a tester strip. And it really was nice, really zesty, lemon, really that kind of aqua de parma type Italian style. Um, really nice. So I had a wee walk about. Um, oh, and I, I got a spray in the skin, so I had a wee walk about. But see, to be honest with you, between walking right round the mall or the shopping centre, um, and that wasn't too long, that took me no more than, say, 15 minutes. It was really a close skin scent. It really was fading, especially indoors as well. Um, so I wasn't too impressed. The smell was really nice, but it really wasn't wasn't they projecting that well, and it didn't seem as if it was going to last. So I went back, um, but on the way going up, I went into Superdrug and I had a look about and they had a couple of Dolce & Gabbana's as well and I seen this, the light blue forever and I'd seen a couple of reviews on it. Gent Sense gave it a brilliant review and a few other people, um, American uh, reviewers gave it really good reviews. Now there's about seven or eight in, in this line, flankers for the original. So it will be quite, quite confusing for anybody to pick out one of them. Um, now, now the, the very first one gets a really good re review and so does the light blue intense. But, so I ended up trying them on strips and on my skin. And I seen this, and this was the last one I tried. And instantly, instantly, this is perfume. <coughs> instantly I loved it. It's a really authentic, to me, it's great, it is grapefruit, but it almost smells peach. Um, it's good, I think some of the notes in it are grapefruit, bergamot, orange. It's, you know, it's got exotic uh, notes. Um, it's got violet leaf, java, vetiver oil, uh, white musk and patchouli. There's not a lot of uh, notes listed, but I think there's more to this. Um, it really is a fabulous scent. Gent scent really hypes it up and it really is worth the money. But I get a great deal on this. If you get into Superdrug at the moment and you're, uh, you're a member or you, you don't even need to be a member, you can sign up right away, you'll get 20% off it. So I got it for about £36 for 100ml. Here's a bottle here. It's a really lovely bottle. Um, it really is a, a lovely classy bottle. I mean you'll get that with most Dolce & Gabbana's or you know you know what they're like. They're right up there with Dior and people like that. Um, so the cap comes off like that. It's like the whole thing. It's quite weighty. There's a bit of metal in there but it's plastic at the top. And there's this, there's your atomizer. It really is a lovely bottle. That's 100ml. So I got this for £36. Now I looked around and the cheapest you can probably get this is around about £55 for 100ml, £60. Um, some places, boots and that's even more It's even more expensive, so shop around. But Super Drugs get a great deal on the now, and this is a fabulous scent. Really worth the money. It's absolutely worth the money. Um, a really great summer scent, but as Gent Scent says, in an in indoor environment you would get away with this any time of the year it is a very very pleasant smell doesn't change much quite linear but that kind of sweet it, it is grapefruit and bergamot but it's almost like a sweet peachy kind of smell i get off my skin very unisex i would say geared up for men but i would say it's totally unisex 
but it really is a lovely smell and I was quite surprised with the projection. The projection for an hour or so, it, it really is quite good, really authentic smell and on my skin going out and I was getting worse every now and again, I would say I get about six hours before this was a close skin scent and that's really good for this type of fragrance especially on my skin. I was really impressed by this. It really is worth the money. Um, I would say to anybody, if you're going to get one of the light blues, get forever. Um, it's well worth it. And as I say, the deal in Superdrug is unbeatable. You don't need to be a member. You just go in, take up the... Just give them your email address. You'll get 20% right away. Rather, I think the small bottle, the 50%, the 50 mLs is £35. And Superdrug, still a great price, is selling this for £45. But if you get the 20% and just give them your email, they'll give you a wee card, you can get the app. Um, you'll get this for a pound dearer than the smaller. So you'll get basically like 100 mLs for £36, which is a great deal. This is an absolute fabulous scent. Um, when you smell this, you'll love it. If you like that kind of sweet... Uh, grapefruit or peachy kind of smell, fruity smell, you'll love this. Um, I totally recommend it. Uh, that's the box here, it's a kind of velvety box. I'm not into boxes, but it is a nice touch. Um, but the bottle's fabulous. Um, I might even go out and buy another bottle of this while it's going. Um, because it is a really fabulous scent. I'm going to use, I'm going to rock this for quite a while. Um, but I totally recommend it. Definitely going to be a compliment getter. Dressed up, dressed down. Great for summer. Taking on holiday. Really, as I say, I can't give it any more praise. It really is up there. I mean, you'll spend £250, £300 in fragrances from Zerkov and people like that. And this is fabulous. I mean, I loved uh, Zerkov's uh, Renaissance. Um, and the other one that I like is Neil. Um, this is right up there with them, as far as I'm concerned. You might not have the fabulous name, but or the kind of niche name. Uh, but this is a fabulous scent. Anyway, I hope everybody's safe and well. As I say, if you get a chance, I would re totally recommend this. As I say, there's about eight in the line. Don't waste your time in the rest of them. The original is good and the intense is good, but this is the best. As far as I'm concerned, this is the best. Okay, bye for now.